I don't really pay much attention to people who have lots of opinions about lots of things, because if you have lots of opinions about lots of things, you probably just don't know what you're talking about. Though I still have a lot of love for Daniel, I don't respect his unwillingness to engage with openness and curiosity, and I refuse to engage with his attacks and appeal to authority. But I was sick of it. I was sick of just watching him do it to Jonathan Little, so I said something. The poker world is buzzing with a heated dispute involving Matt Berkey, Jonathan Little, and Daniel Legrano taking opposing stances in a contentious debate. Matt Berkey, the outspoken founder of Solve for White Training, has consistently targeted Jonathan Little's coaching methods in recent months. This open criticism has sparked a significant controversy with heavyweight Daniel Legrano also getting involved. The tension originated when Matt Berkey critiqued a post made by Jonathan Little on X, a mistake many people make when approaching solvers. It's important to realize that when a solver says something is barely plus EV, it is often minus EV for us. But this is only because the solver will navigate the turn and river perfectly. A human cannot replicate this and therefore the value of calling goes way down. Berkey replied stating that anyone who agrees with Jonathan is welcome to join any game he is participating in along with a 3% reimbursement on incurred losses. Negrano stepped in to defend Jonathan Little and said Berkey should have treated Little with respect and built a bridge that could help his own business flourish since Jonathan is incredibly successful in the coaching space. In contrast, Berkey consistently belittles and criticizes Jonathan. While major trading sites attract accomplished professionals, Jonathan has enlisted high-stakes experts for his content building a successful business. Berkey, on the other hand, lacks comparable achievements and exhibits evident jealousy. Berkey's continuous mocking is unwarranted and he lacks the credentials to claim authority on poker coaching quality. Negrano also targeted Berkey's close friend and podcast co-host Landon Tice. Negrano advised Tice to receive coaching from other professionals, urging him to break free of the handcuffs of Berkey's influence. In a specific tweet, Negrano mentioned high-profile coaches like Alex Foxen and Chance Cornuth. Berkey soon intervened saying that what began as a needle has turned into Daniel painting him as some devil-faced bully. Berkey countered by stating he never attacks the character and merely disagrees with Little's messaging. He dismissed Negrano's comments as bruised ego lashing out further intensifying the feud. Right after Negrano posted his critical tweet, the poker community started choosing sides. Patrick Leonard stepped in to support Berkey, describing the hate directed at Berkey as strange. In a brief video addressing the conflict, Leonard stated that he doesn't view his fellow poker professional as a bully. Well, I wouldn't class this as bullying. Jonathan Little posted on Twitter um, something for engagement. He posted a pretty controversial thing which he knows is going to get traction both ways, but it's going to work out for him because it's going to get lots of views, it's going to get lots of traction, it's about Negron and all of this kind of stuff, and he's going to get more views and more people are going to sign up to his train site because of it. Because it's such a topical thing and because it got lots of engagement, because it was controversial and I guess wrong in some ways, um, Berkey has a poker podcast which he talks about poker every day, Twitter, poker Twitter every day, which is a main driving force of engagement in poker. And he's like, oh, did you see his Jonathan Little hand? I completely disagree. I think Negroni should have done this. Um, of course, Berkey is maybe using Negroni and Jonathan Little for engagement, but Jonathan Little is also using Negroni and Berkey for engagement. He knows people are going to comment on this kind of stuff. I replied to Jonathan Little. I replied, yeah, I think you're completely wrong because X, Y, and Z. I wasn't bullying him. I was engaging with him because I think this is what he was set out to do. If I thought he was going to be a or didn't want engagement, that would be a different thing. I'm not going onto Twitter like, oh my god, did you see Negroni make this fold? This is so bad. It's a thread put up and I'm replying to it. You know, it's very, very different. Jonathan Little posted this thread with the intention of getting engagement. Berkey engages, he's not bullying. Two days later, Berkey made a sarcastic post about his new course where he said, not everyone has Negrano's talent to ignore theory and trust ourselves in big money spots and people should learn from his course. Daniel did not like this post and responded by sarcastically saying, why waste time learning from proven high stake crushers like Jason Kuhn, Nick Petrangelo, Chance Cornuth and many others. Berkey responded by saying Daniel forgot one pro and posted a video of Daniel's course promo. Negrano just responded by posting his hand in mob results. Berkey replied with the hand in mob results of Justin Bonomo. The war of words was far from over with Berkey turning on Dean Eggs 
and accusing him of having a go at multiple people and using his platform to punch down and smash anyone who rubs the great kid poker the wrong way. He went on to describe Negrano as a phony, criticizing him for not addressing community issues such as the GG Poker super user scam and security concerns. He compared Negrano to a more likable version of Duck Polk who at least does not attempt to hide who he actually is. The public clash escalated, pulling in respectable figures like Phil Galfond, who brought a much needed comic relief. What started off as a serious critique ended in a funny plug for Phil Galfond's own coaching site, Run It Once. He continued by saying for the next 24 hours only, you can save an additional $200 a total of 50% savings on one year of Run It Once Elite with the discount code that I just created, Twitter Drama. In another post, Galfon expressed disappointment at the lower and lower blows from the two ambassadors of the game. He wrote a long paragraph about poker mindset and again ended by making a funny plug at the end about his poker mindset strategy playbook and invited Matt and Daniel to get their ebook. Many people on reading Galfon's tweet had this reaction. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. However, it was Jonathan who came to Negrano's assistance by winning the Poker Go Cup at just the right moment, giving Kid Poker the opportunity for some vicarious boasting. Negrano would later go on to speak at length at what he believes was Berkey's problem, a condescending manner in the way he talks on subjects and talks others down. I stuck up for Jonathan Little. Berkey's kind of arrogance and condescension came out, which triggered mine. Because, you know, that's like my go-to as well, is to be arrogant and condescending. And then it became a back and forth about the nitty-gritty of a hand. Like, who can be more arrogant and more condescending, like, in a short period of time? And I feel like we both did a good job of, like, peak arrogance and condescension. I know I certainly had my fun with it for the day. Um, you know, I, listen, I acknowledge that. Like, I know that's one of my... Um, one of my traits, what a character flaw, when people sort of come at me, I usually come back with some arrogance and who knows, there's a lot of reasons why that would happen. I acknowledge that. He seems to think that me saying that is like getting myself off the hook. It's just being self-aware. I've never heard him acknowledge that the biggest part of the reason why he's at the forefront of every um, beef isn't because of what he's trying to accomplish. It's the way in which he chooses to, and it comes from arrogance. When asked if there was a future heads up battle on the horizon, Negrano fired some shots at Berkey, saying he's not worried about playing him at all. Oh, you gotta play him? Listen, if I had to play him, I'd have been, I'll play him, whatever. It's not like, you know, I'd be all that concerned. You know what I mean? Like I'm playing Berkey, right? So like I had to play Doug Polk, who was you know, one of the best heads up players. Yeah. Right. Well, that is like a challenge where I knew I'd be a, like a significant underdog, but we're not. We're not talking about Doug Polk. We're talking about Berkey. There's more to losing that one because you know you lose to Doug Polk. It's like okay, well you were supposed to lose, but then like you got more pressure because if you lose to Berkey, bro, she. Let us know in the comments on what you think.